Yes, another E value. I really wish we didn't have to wear scrubs so often. I'm caught up on all my TV shows. Yeah, I'm caught up on all the TV shows. Do you mind if I go send this fax? So I know it's already like five o'clock, but could we really have some more teaching? There's no way I missed anything on that test. Dan, I'm really glad I studied for genetics. Yeah, I'd love to write your note for you. Oh yeah, I remember that from Gross. I'm surprised how good the patient's room smell. I'm probably gonna skip that free lunch. Even though we were on call last night, I feel really well rested. 25 year old female presents with persistent nausea. Uh, Hang on one second, let me respond to this text real quick. Step one, that was the best summer. Step one, that was such a laid back month. Step one, what a magical summer. I mean, I'm post call, but sure I'll go to the free clinic today. The patient list is a little too short. I'll go check to see if her cervix is dilated again. I just wish that they could have given me more retracting time in the OR. I'm probably in the best shape of my life right now. I wish I had a further parking spot. I really love getting exercise. Hey, I know we already rounded, but can we go around on our patients again? Love to pick up another patient. I wish we hadn't gone to Cancun for our ACLS break. Glad I got this email. Almost forgot about the physiology seminar this week. Oh, our step scores are coming out today. These dance guys are really uncomfortable, but they look really good on me. I'm good. I don't need gloves for that rectal. This has been a really productive day. Dr. Clark and Miss Virginia never help us with anything. I just remember things so much better when you put me on the spot. Coffee? I've never tried this. $2,000 is a deal for the CS exam. There's no way I missed anything on that test. I could probably hold it for a little while longer, but I think I'm going to go take it down real quick. I definitely just heard a grade one blowing early diastolic murmur. I feel like I know exactly what's going on with this patient. I'm still pretty upset about that 270 I made on step. Gosh, I wish I was an M2 again. <laughs> 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 advice for the first day you will be nervous that's normal um, my biggest fear was when I showed up and my pockets weren't filled with about five pins um, a little book and like a ruler my classmates made me feel really nervous about that I never regretted not having any of that my advice for the first day of the third year is to not be afraid to ask for clear specific instructions and to be aware of your patient situation for example when you start on OB nights, do not go into the room and ask the actively laboring woman what her family and social history are and then run through <laughs> old carts with them. They don't care and it's not important at that time. So just be aware. Advice for the first day, I would just say be yourself. Uh, if there's something you want to do, don't be afraid to ask to do it. The worst they can say is no. Um, and just try to be comfortable. They're people too. Don't be intimidated by them. So advice for the first day, I would definitely say be okay with the fact that you are not going to know anything. Um, and you'll feel that way for a really long time, but it's okay if you don't know stuff. And if you don't know something, don't act like you know it. Um, just be okay with saying, I don't know, and definitely don't ever make anything up. One of my favorite parts of third year was getting to know some of my internal medicine patients. I had one patient in particular who I spent a lot of time with once he got into the hospital and was able to talk to him about his sickle cell and how it affected his life. And uh, he taught me a lot about spending time with patients and really getting to know them for who they are and not just the disease that they have. So we were on medicine, we were following an intellectually disabled girl for weeks and then it was her birthday. And so um, me and my partner on medicine got hats for her and brownies for her and a tiara for her. And in the middle of rounds, us, our so attending, and all our residents went in her room he and threw her a birthday like. party. Mm -hmm. And, and she had the biggest smile on her face I've ever seen, and that was just the best moment of my third year. So I think my one bit of advice for third year is to have fun, like, okay, so to get to know your patients, and to learn as much as you can. Because I know a lot of you are going into third year thinking that you want to do peds or surgery or medicine, but just remember that every rotation has something that you can take away from it and a little pearl that you'll carry with you forever. So have fun, congratulations on finishing step one, and I hope you guys have a great year. M3 is a very exciting year. It's an exciting time for you guys to be moving from your M2 classroom experience or your living room experience if you didn't go to class to your clinical duties as an M3. Us as M3s, we have a lot of time to spend with our patients, and so we can be really thorough with our assessments. On my psychiatry rotation, uh, we have to do like an HMP at clinic. Well, the resident had just seen his patients and she was there for like a, a refill her Adderall. So he saw her in like five minutes and then went to present her to the attending. And I was like, hey, I have to do an HMP. I'd like to interview her myself. And I spent a good while with her and 
Um, she seemed really anxious and I was like, hey, is everything okay at home? Do you feel kind of like safe? And she's like, well, sometimes my hus husband gets um, mad at me and I was like, tell me a little bit more about that. And I ended up finding out he was abusing her. And so I actually brought this to the attending's attention and uh, we were able to set her up with counseling and kind of help her find an escape plan if she didn't need to get away from him. But my piece of advice would be to consider yourself a very vital member of the healthcare team and to take pride in your M3 role. Don't be afraid to look dumb in front of the attendings. That's kind of like your your job as an M3. Uh, we, we look dumb on a pretty regular basis. I'm going to see a patient uh, who's post-op and, and I'm just asking the general post-op questions like, any chest pain, any shortness of breath, have you had a bowel movement? And then I get to the part where I ask, are you walking around? So I said, are you walking? And the lady looks at me and she says, well, I'm paralyzed. Had I looked at the chart, I would have seen that she had spina bifida and I would have avoided that mess altogether. So definitely look at the chart before you go see a patient. Um, it'll spare you a lot of embarrassment. Embrace being at the hospital, being around people after studying by yourself for so long. It's fun and exciting and just embrace being up here. So my one advice to uh, upcoming M3s would be just to make sure that you make your residents and particularly the intern look good because if they look good then they're going to help you out on rounds they're going to tell you before rounds what the attendings like to ask most attendings ask the same questions so just making sure that uh, you help them out do everything they say because not only are they the ones that will talk to the attending but they'll actually give you information and stuff uh, that the attendings like be a team player uh, your classmates will appreciate that your residents will notice it it'll make your life smoother it'll make your peers life smoother so uh, just be a team player, work together, okay, and uh, everything will work out finally. Good luck. Even if you're on a rotation that you necessarily don't like, make sure and have fun and learn as much as you can because that might be the last time in your life that you will ever get to do something on that type of rotation. If you see a chair that looks special, don't sit in it. Be happy to be here during your third year and try to find something to learn about every day. Just a little reminder before you ask patients questions, just like kind of look around the room. I asked a man if he had lower extremity swelling and then notice his two prosthetic legs on the side of it. So <laughs> you just might want to take a look around the room before you start asking questions. Two pins, because if you lose one, <laughs> good luck finding another. If you're confused about something and you have a question, think about first, hmm, could I Google this? Is this something that I could easily look up? And do that first. Then, if you still don't know, feel free to ask the question. It's important to ask questions, but it's important also to not be lazy. So look it up if you can. Give every specialty the opportunity to give you the best experience you can have. Um, if someone asks you if you want to try something, say yes. Don't be afraid to ask if you can try something because you never know like what cool procedure you might get to do just because you were there and somebody trusted you or you asked to do it. Uh, you never know what kind of interesting patient you might get to meet or experience that you might have. So I guess I'm just saying don't be afraid to step up. Show up on time, act interested, and don't throw your fellow classmates under the bus. Um, but another big thing I was going to say is this is the big time that you can make mistakes and learn as much as you can. So when you get any kind of weird cases, take the time to kind of nerd it up and learn more about it so that you sound better in rounds and you really know what to do for therapy and treatment. I think the most important advice you need for M3 year is where to go eat. So for breakfast, the VA is awesome. They also have good wraps. And then for lunch, this is key, you have to go to Wiser. Get the special soup sandwich drink less than five bucks it's great we were on pete's valley that together and this is where one of our favorite memories of m3 year comes from so there's this patient and at age six she was um, paralyzed from the neck down in a car accident so she's vent dependent she loves to paint so she has a tool that she like puts this mouthpiece in her mouth and you can attach a paintbrush to it she can also attach something to use um, her iPad with. It's one of our favorite activities when we had spare time on Pete's Palliative to go help her paint. Um, we were working on one particular painting one day. Just randomly she said, hey guys, have you ever seen the movie Heaven is for Real? And I think I said no. I've read the book but I haven't seen the movie. And she said, well, maybe it's a lot better than the book. 
And I said something along the lines of, do you know that heaven is for real? And in that moment, <laughs> it was just the sweetest thing I've ever heard when she said, I know it's for real. I'm going to paint all day. <laughs> I'm going to get to paint all day every day. And so the moral of the story is, you may look like an idiot like I am right now, but if you can just take a little extra time out of your day um, to really touch someone, and not necessarily intentionally touch someone, but just try, that sounds terrible. If you could just really try to really be more than just a medical student. This is your one and only opportunity to really invest and get to know your patients. You're gonna hear that several times. And there are gonna be times that you're really, really stressed and you have no idea what's going on, but you just need to remember that this is your one and only opportunity to really invest in patient care. I just wanted to say that our class had a really good time making this video. You know, it really gave us the opportunity to kind of look back and reflect on our year and the experiences that we had. Um, you know, I hope by the end of your third year that you have a lot of stories to share and a lot of memories that you can look back on with your fellow classmates. Um, you know, going into this year, I know you're probably really nervous, but it really is a lot better than sitting in the classroom like we have been for the past two years. Just remember that the decisions you make really do have a ripple effect, not only on you, but the patients that you interact with, because they're gonna remember you, the med student, and help them get through their hospital stay. So I hope to see you around the hospital. Um, don't be afraid to ask any of them for us for help. You know, we're still around, and we all just got through the same thing that you're about to go through. Um, so good luck next year.